Hey guys, we're in the car. The next shipment of birds just came in. Are you ready, Brayden? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go get them. Okay, guys, made it home. Gonna go ahead and get the box lid off here. There we go. Hi, guys. Hello, little ones. Welcome home. Hi, guys. Well, hello. <laughs> These are broad-breasted white turkeys. And we got a sale. They are all males. Hi, babies. So what I'm going to do is I already got the brooder set up. We got the heater on. And then over here I got the water. I got to get the food. But I'm going to go ahead and start putting them in. Getting their beaks dipped into the water. And then go get some food for them. Okay. There they are. I just have to get the food, but I got these guys from Myers Poultry Farm, and I'll put a link to their website in the description. Um, everybody's uh, had their deep spit, um, and looks like they're really liking the new uh, brooder heater. I might have to raise it up. I think I actually will. It looks like they're a little bit tall for that, so I'm going to raise it up one more. And then um, I'm going to go outside and go ahead and get some food for them. All male, broad breast, white turkeys. And this is going to be the next thing to go into our freezers once they grow out. Okay, there we go. Got it on the highest setting or for the stand. The four corners. And they're getting in and out with no problems. Hi guys! They're picking at my camera, that's so funny. What are you doing? <laughs> I try stop picking at the camera! Silly birds! Curious little things. All right, got them their food. So they are all ready to go. And they'll stay inside for the next couple days. It's not, you're not a duck. Why are you in the water? You're gonna be a problem, problem turkey, aren't you? All right, they've been inside the house for about a week. These are the 40 broad-breasted turkeys with one gray slate. Uh, we had one turkey die on us, which is, ex you know, we were expecting that type of loss. Um, but one of our ducks hatched out a turkey, so we stuffed the turkey with them. So today, we are going to take them to the outside brooder. Are you guys ready? Hmm? All right, guys. They are all in the brooder. They're a little stunned. <laughs> and over here is the hay and the heater. <gasps> Look at them, too. Aww. All right, so how many did you count? 41 of the broad breasted and one of our heritage breed. Cool. All right. We will give them a chance to chill out in here. All right, guys. Um, we got done with our hatching of the turkeys. This was supposed to be the third part of the video. Um, the candling and the hatching 
actually this was gonna be the fourth part with cleaning it up. But with the, uh, the, the second two parts of the video, I accidentally deleted. Um, so we didn't get any of the candling. I don't have any of the candling footage or of them actually hatching. But we did get, when we candled, we found four eggs that were not fertile. So we ditched those right away. And we had eight eggs left and all eight hatched. So that's a pretty, that's an awesome hatch rate on this thing. So we're pretty excited about that. I'm really happy with this purchase so far. And uh, there we go. So now let's oh. see how the cleanup goes. It should be pretty darn easy to clean up. This part here, I'm going to wipe down with. Uh, um, Clorox wipes. Clorox wipes. Right <laughs> oh, they part, made a mess. Yeah, didn't they? they did make a mess, didn't they? This here, I'm going to put it down. Now, one thing we did learn with this is that um, when you go to put it on lockdown, this is really slippery. Yeah. So they look like they have sprig legs. They don't. By the time we got them in, onto, um, in the coop, or not in the coop, in the uh, brooder, um, they were walking around just fine. But this is like really slippery for them. So we're thinking about when it goes into lockdown, we're going to put down like paper towels just so that way um, they, can walk. they can walk around. Oh. I forgot about that water. Yeah, you forgot about the water. Use the, uh, if you want to use this. Yeah, you can use the spray. Just be careful with spraying everything. <laughs> yeah, that's going to need a, a good little scrub. Yeah. But it's so easy to clean. Yeah, it's a lot easier than the uh, styrofoam ones. Yes. I'll give it that much. I'm really kind of happy with it. The cleanup was real easy. Yeah. We'll let it dry and then we can run it through with a um, a Clorox wipe. Yeah. That's what we'll do. We'll, we'll use Clorox wipes. And then that we can just wipe down with a Clorox wipe because that's yeah. got all the electronics. Yeah, that did it. I mean, it did an awesome job. Oh, let's go show them the babies. Yep. All right. And there's the babies and they came out really healthy we haven't lost a single one of them yet yeah. they're doing really good I think these two here are gonna look more like the they're bourbon. gonna look like the bourbon red everybody else has got a gray tint to them so that's definitely gonna be gray slates mixed and we're really happy with this uh, producer's pride. Yeah. It really does a good job. It's so much better than those lights. And I can sleep better at night not worrying about a light bulb exploding and catching the house on fire. Yeah. And they, this was what, $38 or something like that? At, 40 at, something. Yeah, it was tax and everything, 40 some mm -hmm. dollars. But that's, I mean, it's perfect size for this brooder. Grab the box so I can show them the box. Uh, where is the box? Behind me. Oh, yeah, here it is. There's the other one. Here they are. But yeah, this is what we picked up. So... They're all doing great. You putting it together? Yeah.
Go get your water. Hold on. <laughs> to snap my shirt rolling. That's what I'm doing. Is it working? Yeah. All right. Um, uh... Got to get the water. Yeah. The thing got to float. Yeah. Well, remember, it's empty in both chambers, so. Yeah. You have to wait a few minutes for it to go down. Yeah. So, why don't we put the divider? Oh, yeah, we gotta put the little tray thing in, don't we? Yeah. So, we can put dividers in. Because what are we doing? We are doing duck eggs. Ducky eggs. Let's see that. See? Up, oh, the floater's down. It doesn't <laughs> take long. No. Sorry, going down. Yeah. <laughs> Let it even out. Wait, where's the dividers? I got them right here. Oh, okay. So, do you think two? Yeah, that's all we're gonna do. Be able to do. Okay, that way they'll turn. Okay. Yeah. That's a huge egg. Look at that. That one's like a pointy torpedo. <laughs> So what we got in there? Twelve? Yep. Nice. One dozen duck eggs. One dozen ducky eggs. I wish we had gotten the Arcom 50. Well. I didn't want to spend on. that much money on something we didn't know how good it was going to be. Though. Yeah. The floater's down. Maybe that'll be the next incubator we get. Maybe. Alright. So what's the temperature for ducks? 99.5 with 60% humidity. Okay, so let's make sure we're set for that. And uh, we are. I already, that's what I did before when I hit the set button. All right. Now we need to do turning. Uh, set, turning. We're gonna do it every hour. Why every hour? Because it says to do a minimum of every four hours. Um, but most incubators are set for an hour. It doesn't hurt them to be moved more. Just makes the chances of hatching better. Oh, okay. So. <clears throat> All right, well. We'll see how it goes. There's the ducky eggs. They're a little dirtier than I like, but... You know, all of our duck eggs are dirty, so. Yeah, we we only have the one house, and we got a mix of turkeys and chickens out there and ducks, yeah. and so we may have to look into getting more boxes out there somehow. Something. Something. 